Um, well, mainly to help Leah uh, and uh, uh, certainly help Leinster Rugby um, become you know, a dominant force in, in Europe again and uh, you know, obviously go one better. So, you know, it came about um, less than, probably about less than a week, about two weeks ago really, when Leo gave me a ring and said, would you be interested in coming over and having a chat about a potential role? And uh, um, obviously for me, great opportunity to come and have a look and see what, 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 what was on offer. And uh, as the more we talked, the more it became clear that um, with Kurt going, there was, a, there was an opportunity to come in. Uh, and I think Leo felt that I could um, offer value you know, in attack and defence, obviously the ex experiences I've had. And certainly from my point of view, you know, I'm more than happy to, to work underneath Leo because um, I, don't, I don't know the club, I don't know the environment, I don't know the, the relationships and everything, and uh, uh, so it suits me down the ground just to get back into coaching again. Yeah, Leo, can you just go what you expect from and hope from Stuart? Well, the first thing, I suppose, attracted me <laughs> to, to Stuart, you know, obviously there was the sad departure for Kurt, you know, and you know, our thoughts are still with... Um, for him and his family back in New Zealand now, Kurt left at the weekend. So, um, yeah, like you're you're thinking, okay, how are we going to replace Kurt? So, um, there was straight away there's an opportunity for us to bring in somebody new, um, and yeah, like there's there's the role of defence, and I, you know Stuart, I talked to him on the phone, and you know, just to see what his current situation was. You know, I always follow, I suppose, people that I would admire in the game, good people. Um, I want to bring a good person into the group first and foremost. Um, people that have a quality skill set and um, that can add to the group, not just from a defensive point of view, but in a whole host of other areas. So, yeah, there's straight away there's there's a big attraction there for me in having a candidate like Stuart here. So yeah, like I'm absolutely delighted that he's decided to join here. Um, you know, we're always looking to be better here in Leinster. You know, we always want to improve. Um, you know, it was the same for me as as a player here. As we go on, like you know, as as I've moved on into coaching, you know, we still have really ambitious players. So it's trying to satisfy that level of ambition that they have. You know, we had Graham Henry in here for a short stint during the summer, but so for for Leinster as a club to to land someone as with the level of experience um, that Stewart has um, is a great coup for us as a club, and um, we're all very excited about working with him for the rest of the season. Leo, who, who is the defence coach? Well, Stuart will straight away. He'll be stepping into the breach this week. So we've a tough challenge against Glasgow this weekend on Saturday, and um, yeah, we've had some discussions over on the phone over the last couple of weeks, and you're know, looking at ways we can improve. And that's certainly an area I think there's there's definitely areas we can get better in, and you know, Stuart will take over that for this week. Stuart, what's your experience as a defence coach? Well, I love that. You go back my experience of coaching. I've coached virtually every 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 part of the game. Um, you know, whether I go back to my teaching career till I was thirty, but I've coached now for sixteen years. I think there was a perception in in England that I probably didn't do any coaching. You know, I was uh, um, Andy Farrell clearly led on the defence, uh, and uh, when I was with England, um, but you know, I've coached defence. I was coaching defence not less than three weeks ago in um, New Zealand. Um, so Counties of Manukau, my main remit was to coach. Coach defence. Um, so I've got my own philosophy. Clearly, you know, it's been influenced a lot by the people I've worked under as, as defence coaches. You know, um, I watched Mike Ford when he was the England defence coach. Obviously, Andy Farrell latterly worked with Paul Gustard in Argentina, and um, when he came with me. So um, yeah, I think I understand a lot about defence. And but equally, as I mentioned earlier on, you know, I think you know I've got a reasonably broad range, and uh, hopefully, I can influence. Some of the attacking stuff as well, um, and and also reach down a little bit to some of the academy work. You know, I've come from a player development background. My role in England was not just head coach, head of elite player development, and you know, I'd like to think Leinster. Uh, I could offer Leinster something in that regard as well. Can you, can you talk to us about what you learned from your job, your role in England, specifically the World Cup? <laughs> How long have you got? <laughs> where, where, where did you want to start? Okay. Uh, no, it was a, it was a. An unbelievable experience um, in, in the lead up to it, and we all knew in the pool that we were in it was going to be incredibly tough, uh, and it was going to come down to small margins. And I think I mentioned at the time to the to the press there, you know, the small margins had huge consequences. And uh, you know, it's a real it, it was a real shame, obviously, um, for everyone involved. And uh, there's been, but, but you know, I look at England now and I look at the success I've had under Eddie, and, and you know, I do take pride in what's. Um, what they've achieved, because I know the foundations um, took a while to put into place, 
Um, and uh, it's been a tough nine months, you know, you're at the game and, uh, but equally, I think when I look back over these nine months, I've done some unbelievable things and I guess, you know, a lot of coaches have reached out to me and offered opportunities for me to come and see their environment. So my experience in the last nine months has helped broaden me as a coach and uh, I think I'll come back a better coach now um, and hopefully give that to Leinster Rugby. Sure, do you see yourself?